Before starting the cropping process, I'd like to introduce you to additional functionality of the image geometry. Sometimes we need to rotate an image because uh, the camera did not sense our portrait orientation, like in this case, which I faked actually. To do that, you can use photo, rotate left or rotate right. Or you can use what I do, control square bracket or command square bracket, bracket left and right brackets. You could rotate in the library module, as you remember, there's a set and rotate and you can have that functionality right here. But this functionality doesn't exist in the develop module toolbar. The toolbar is here and it doesn't have it, as you see. So in other words, the easiest way to use control or command square bracket. Secondly, sometimes, uh, which is actually a trick, but sometimes we can and you, we would like to flip images. There is no shortcut for it. So we can do it through the photo, flip vertical or horizontal. I'm using Command Z, Control Z to go back to my original state. Okay, the first uh, image we're going to crop will be this uh, landscape image. Uh, let's open the tool, which you can do using R key, and it's applicable in any Lightroom module. Or click on the dedicated symbol here. Well, first of all, there are two things we need to, to clarify before cropping. First of all, if you notice, almost every, besides the basic set, tool has uh, the switch we can, which can temporarily turn off that tool and see how the image will look without that developing. Same thing is about all the local adjustments. They all have this tiny switch here. But the basic set and the crop tool, they do not have this switch. So there is no way to there is no way to do to see how the image looks before cropping and after. You can do it uh, for basic tools, as you remember there is backslash key before and after state, which doesn't include cropping. Secondly, as you see I have a grid here which allows me using the corners or central points to start cropping the image. And we can change this grid to our liking in tools crop guide overlay there's a ton of different grids here and you can use O key to cycle through them so the first one is the regular one just the grid the basic grid the second one is the rule of thirds very helpful to make uh, your composition closer to the formal composition the, of the rule of thirds the second one is my favorite, which is diagonals, which also based is based on the rule of thirds, but it uh, shows you the guiding or leading lines of the dynamics in the image. The next one is a similar one, also based on the rule of thirds and called triangles. The next one is a golden section and the golden spiral. And the last one shows you different aspect ratios, default aspect ratios. Okay, let's set it and leave it on my preference. Or let's start it first with a rule of thirds. Um, you can crop images before developing or after at the very end doesn't make any difference. I prefer doing it beforehand before because first of all there's also straightening tool in the crop tool so it makes sense first to straighten image and this is my weakness as a photographer to produce a lot of uh, slightly tilted images and uh, secondly if I am working 
later with uh, images closer to the final look cropped images it makes more sense for me and um, just makes my work more pleasant